Westbound I-10 near Lane Avenue. It's back open hours after a deadly crash involving a garbage truck. I'm going to show you some Sky 4 video showing the truck on its side during rush hour. Police say a 55-year-old driver from Ponte Vedra Beach died at the scene. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avni has been following this story all evening. He's joining us now live. Eric? Yeah, well, Ken, several people who say that they were working inside this building said that all of a sudden they heard a loud pop, and they say that pop was consistent with the sound of a tire bursting. Now, one of the persons I spoke with says that uh, right after he heard that sound, he looked out his window only to see a garbage truck turn over right around this little area in that far left lane. Then he said he saw that garbage truck actually slide all the way into that large metal beam. Florida Highway Patrol says this waste management truck was traveling west on I-10 in the left lane when the truck struck a guardrail next to the lane and somehow overturned. The 55-year-old driver died in the crash. Several people working at a nearby warehouse who didn't want to go on camera tell News for Jax they all heard a loud popping sound similar to the sound of a tire blowing out. One of the witnesses says right after hearing the pop, he looked out his window and saw the truck turn over and slide down the roadway before hitting this massive beam. He emailed these photos of the truck to auto mechanic Aaron Nelson to get his take on what might have gone wrong. He says a single rear tire blowing out would not likely cause this to happen because the truck is equipped with four rear tires. However, looking at the pictures, it appears like there's something sticking out the top, the left front end of the truck. Which, looking at those pictures, and it's hard to say without examining the suspension, but it appears like something on the suspension broke. And my thought is dropping down on top of the tire, causing the tire to lock. It would just kind of kneel on that tire. And when it did, then, re the, then the rear end would come around. All the weight would get on those tires and blow them. Nelson says if that happens, the truck could potentially go out of control and if there was a decent amount of garbage inside, the weight of the garbage would shift, causing the high-sided truck to overturn. <laughs> Hours after the crash happened, it took two tow trucks to lift the garbage truck so that it could be towed away. Back here live, of course, the actual cause of that crash remains under investigation. And the good news in all of this right now is the fact that this interstate is now back open. And as we said earlier on, the traffic pattern is back to uh, a normal pattern. Reporting live on the west side, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.